try to find a teammate. A one in the air by might have just been for the throw in. Here's a counter from the Ticos. Ruiz makes the run into the 18. Shimbolanos, I believe, who delivered that uh, pass forward and sails lightning quick off his line to meet it. So on that attack, they have how lively this ball is going to be, like a ping pong ball, and that's why Costa Rica should start asserting the the superiority in the technical department. But the nations are certainly not lacking Belfort's in some is ability in there knit their passes together but it doesn't seem as if five minutes in they've really found their feet yet and certainly under pressure goalkeeper handles it well with his feet <laughs> already noticing the bounce of the ball nicely with maniacal this is Hilaire right in the middle making his way back was Charles Hurl and able to win the ball back Kevin Lafranc Turenio leaves it for Bolaños. Here's Christian Bolaños. Has options to cross into. Bolaños delivers to the heart of the 18. A scuffed shot. It's beautiful ball into Ruiz. And really, these are the ones the boys practice all day long. And usually, in practice, rattle it home. It's a beautiful flighted ball. And it's not too far above knee height when it drops into John Jairo. But a bad, bad. That smart play from Haiti, recognizing they're going to have to play this game a little bit cautiously against a team that's been on a wonderful tear of form. He's produced some wonderful saves already to keep his team in the fight. Costa Rica's first corner, it's taken short, delivered on, punched up in the air by Seus. I'm looking around, seeing help me, lads. Ball over the top there was the one that opened up the Haitian defense, but again, a little bit too anxious. Not exactly choreographed lifts from the defenders either. It just seems that the forwards are just a little bit anxious, a little bit too eager to get into the straight away. The next one needs to be a yellow, it's played short. Bolaños looking to deliver, left footed cross to the back post. And it's punched away smartly by Seos. Two Costa Rican players lining up at that back post. Among them, runs out a bit. Yep. This is Matarita. Options to cross into arriving inside of the 18 with the ball left a little bit short. And Shant Jerome recovered. Bolaños trying to find an angle. It's straight on Seos. Good first home ball by Celso Borgos to set up Bolaños. It's all it took. Didn't hesitate. A depot man, Deportivo La Coruña, kisses it on to Bolaños. But again, the requisite power placement. Even when Costa Rica have done the right thing, it's an in goal. Stuart Seus has come up with a really good saves. Pressure from Brian Ruiz, who just nodded back to Seuss. <laughs> no responsibility in that match in midfield to take the ball. Qualifying group, but we have seen a few flashes. Yes, absolutely. On both sides. And good goal scoring opportunities at either end. Goalkeeper denying a couple. There haven't been many clear cut opportunities for Costa Rica. Maybe able to create a few of their own. Ten minutes to play in this opening half. La France. Olsen Pierre. Jerome. Aye, aye. You could flick it back too, you know.
Blasted into midfield, too difficult for Charles Harold to control, and it's found its way all the way back to Seals. So I'll give you one guess as to what he's going to do with it. In the meantime, I invite you to join us on Tuesday as Argentina take on Venezuela in Comebol World Cup qualifying. Terrific return for Lionel Messi against Uruguay, but suffering a bit of an injury that could keep him out, not just yeah. for Argentina, perhaps for Barcelona as well. Already in love with uh, Lionel Messi, not an Argentine passport, may have become enamored by that performance. Yeah. Ade. Tails will get it as far away as he can. In this case, it's an accurate ball to Arcus. Either side in real control of this game yet. It's been back and forward, but Rotary was starting to really put it better. Pattern of play as this game's went on. Still, little Damuses went missing in Ashen lately. To get the devil. Knock. Marcus. <laughs> Bolaños taken short, delivered near post. And hey, yeah. Poor clearance Ooh. in the end, decided not to come off his line, and it was the right decision by Seus. The deal with that from Waston. Well, this ball goes into the funny house of mirrors, and the Vancouver Whitecap man thinks he can nod this one home, just doesn't get his angle on it. And easy pickings in the end for Stewart. Realized after about a step and a half that it was the wrong decision, and yeah. so he backtracked immediately the sure. goalkeeper. And looking at his defender for that swing and a miss clearance as well. Not a touch for Costa Rica. Line splitting pass, and Celso Borges giving chase off his line as Seus to put the ball into orbit. The moose wrestling with Waston. Found it for Junior Delva. Cross is blocked. No chance for Bolaños as it's made its way back for Ricardo Abe. Here's Junior. Olsen Pierre. Not giving up much space in the final third, Costa Rica. Out in final quarter. Well, it could have been a very different story if not for an early save by Stuart Seuss. It could have opened the floodgates, but Haiti holding on against one of the class teams in CONCACAF through the first 45 minutes. No change from either manager for the start of the second half. On said Ray Hudson and Andres Cordero, it's the penultimate round before the hex in CONCACAF and Costa Rica have one foot in the door of the next stage. Running into a bit of trouble here is Paulson Pierre. It does blast it out of the back. Marcus. Ishak Jerome. Adik. Sales will catapult the ball into opposition territory from here. They're confident that they can be more used to this uh, bounce of the ball in this plastic pitch. Win those aerial challenges. They've won at that time, Belfort, but given straight back to Costa Rica. Brian Ruiz, a soft touch. But under pressure from Ilier. Midfield for some in Belfort with Ronaldo de Moose, the two attacking players. Be bond. He used to play his club football for uh, Alajuelense in Costa Rica. For making his move to the area cell. And then, obviously, Major League Soccer. Villiers won it back. Feels like a game of keep away being played by Costa Rica with no real venom to their possession. Hills backing up almost to the end line. And Boa. Seuss does manage to stay inside, but only barely. Very competent. In one or two situations where he's come with those fists, where it looks as if 
It may be a little short, but he's been taming everything pretty well. Just quick, slick passing in the offensive area that we saw at the World Cup. Or the closest similarity to it in this game for Costa Rica for a long time. Passing forward. Great ball. Back line of Hades scrambling back. This is Matarita with a cross in. Joel Campbell could be arriving on the other side, but it's plucked out of the air by Seuss. Been solidly Haitian goalkeeper. Yep. Well timed when he's come off his line more often than not. Vastly more times than not. And takes this one in the classic highest point position. Starts the attack. Unity here with a good delivery. Big man in the box. Delivered by Matarita, floated to the wide area of the 18, knotted up by Celso Borges. But again, Seuss is strong in the air. Big long arms, big long legs. Actually, when he catches it and he's fully extended, the ball was above the crossbar. Did well tonight for his country. He's very much the reason why it's still nil-nil. The France lead off for Pierre. Wilson Pierre rolled it all the way back to Seuss. Push in the back, and it's right in front of Mejia. Lost in the guilty party, and lucky not to go in the referee's book. Junior, rather not Junior Delva, but uh, Ronaldo de Moose just muscled off in midair. Seventy minutes coming up, Andre, and this Haitian team really, as you've said, painted a beautiful picture of describing the standings of it. That got this chance here at this game. Seventy minutes in, I think the Haitian is. Closing 20 minutes. Celso Borges. Had the Short the enough, for Venegas. haven't they? They really have. But it's do or die for the next 20 minutes. They need the goal. There'll be a real party in Port-au-Prince if that happens. The kick quickly and the player standing in front of him, impeding him. Should back away. I understand if he's backing away and this ball hits him, but there's no attempt. It's actually Campbell. Closing in on the ball, standing over the ball, as Haiti is trying to play the free kick. It's not right. Referees continue. Yeah, as of FIFA, exactly in that same position. <laughs> is this a replay? Not as of yet. Sales popping up into the air. It's a foul against the Costa Ricans as Sales is impeded. He's got three tickles around him. He's punched it away. It's Waston who's whistled for the foul. Well, and this will force the third and final substitution. Stewart going through his superstitious moves, I think. Nicely. Strong for Venegas in the air. Yeah, did well since he got in. Hardy. Venegas. This player. 70, 80th minute of play now. It's the first time that uh, Haiti looked to play the ball out of the back. Nicely. Chance now for Celso Borges. Didn't want to take a shot himself. Waston sending it back across oh. into the six. And Celso out to meet it. Not before this, though. Oscar Duarte taking yep. a bump to the face. What a bravely going in for this challenge. It's popped up. The Espanol man. He attacks this bravely, as does Stuart Sehus. And neither one of them are backing away. Oscar comes out for the worst of it. But certainly no intention from Stuart Sehus. Just offside, perhaps. I, uh, half a step, but here come the two clashing rocks. And, and Oscar Duarte is fortunate that it's only a bruised lip. I wouldn't like to. I honestly think I would have backed away from that challenge uh, when I see Big Stewart coming out at me.
<laughs> can have it. Though, uh, Stuart Seals might have stretched <laughs> a little bit extra just to make that contact as well. <laughs> yeah. Jerome. The big lad. Really. Once they got there, they didn't let Haiti down. As this team here tonight have played bravely and strong against the big, big favorite. Haiti coming in as under puppies, not under dogs. He had stood up and had the chances. Junior guys coming back, stayed onside this time. Hey. Still some work for Jerome to do, but still will bail him out. Oh. And Christian Gamboa to put it in. Campbell standing over the ball. Goal kick. Is tracking it down, but it's Ade who gets there first, and Jerome will retreat all the way back to Sils into the 90th minute now in Port au Prince. You nominate a goalkeeper on the losing side for man of the match because I'm going to do it. He's good, big Stewart, my man of the match. Even after Ezo FIFA is wonderful, yeah, there's nothing he could do about that now if he'd saved that one, Andres. <laughs> Barcelona would be on the phone but, saying, Listen, we're going to scrap that Silicon contract and get Stewart. Say who's in. I mean, on the other side, as a faithful man of the match for that one minute, moment of brilliance. Of course. Yeah, he's got to take it, but uh, Stewart has been very good. And it's not just the saves tremendous. that he's made, the terrific one at the start, but also the way that he's commanded his 18-yard box. Yeah. His coach, Carl Craig up there in Minnesota, should be proud to have him on board. Voted for